Courts are supposed to interpret contracts to avoid absurd results. Is the same true for statutes? In Shine v. Shine, the First Circuit considered what to do when a statute's language seemed to lead to a result the legislature hadn't intended. Marguerite and Louis Shine, married with no children, separated without making a support agreement. Later, Marguerite sued Louis for separate maintenance and obtained an order for monthly support payments. Two years after that, Marguerite and Louis were divorced. The divorce decree didn't provide for support or alimony, but the support order remained in effect. Louis didn't make the required support payments. Marguerite sued him on the arrearage and obtained a judgment for approximately $12,000. Marguerite then brought an action to collect on the judgment. This action was stayed when Lewis filed for bankruptcy. Marguerite filed a complaint in bankruptcy court to have the support judgment declared non-dischargeable, meaning that bankruptcy wouldn't excuse Lewis from payment. The bankruptcy statute in effect at the time accepted from discharge any debt to a spouse or child for alimony, maintenance, or support, quote, in connection with a separation agreement, divorce decree, or property settlement, unquote. The bankruptcy court held that the debt was dischargeable because it wasn't established in a separation agreement or divorce decree. The district court reversed. Lewis appealed to the First Circuit. 